Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We've got live tournament action going on here. It is going to be MLG's Tal Dream Altar yet again. And we still have NJX on the line. So press 1 if you love NJX. We better see her parents out there. You guys need to have a Twitch TV Twitch TV account so that you can press 1 when we ask for things like that. But uh, good to have a lot of support out here for NJX. What, how does that make you feel? Uh, well, it's interesting because uh, I've never had people show me support for playing too many video games, let alone talking about video games. So it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It feels incredible. There you go. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I, I like that. I love to see people that get support, uh, you know, out here in the gaming world. It's interesting to me, like, every now and then we get some players um, that just have their team, their teammates come out, watch the stream, and pop into the game pre-game and say, hey, good luck, buddy, and stuff like that. It always That always strikes me as so cool. That, you know that so many people get so much support from friends and family but pretty cool stuff we're going into a nice matchup here reputed is a good player um, it is going to be a Zerg versus Protoss future here yet again I'm pumped to see this second game from future and uh, so you've seen future play quite a bit and you're telling me earlier that you think that his best matchup is versus Zerg so I mean yeah. what, do you, what do you see his play style being here in this particular matchup well he does have a couple of things that he switches between when he plays against Zerg um I've seen him go charge lot with uh, some mortals. I've I've seen him go for quick stargates and go with phoenixes. I've seen him do uh, a large sentry play as well. Mm. So honestly, it's really difficult to predict exactly what he'll do against a zerg. But I can tell he enjoys uh, playing against it. It's it, when when he's on stream. It's the it's the matchup that he least swears in. So. <laughs> uh -huh. That's funny. But he's going for a Forge Fast Expand here. And that's what we like to see. So Forge Fast Expand on this map tends to be fairly good. Uh, it's pretty easy to defend in this position. You do have some small timings that uh, you know a Zerg opponent can take advantage of, but it requires that they get out an early scout. And we don't see an early scout from Reputed, so my guess is at this point that Future is going to have a very good time as he moves forward with his Forge Fast Expand. Looks like he's floating enough minerals here in just a few moments to take that Nexus right after his Forge. Going to wait before he puts down the cannon. I like this play actually quite a bit, but he did get the Forge out in time. So uh, that's good. What do you think about this little opener? Well, it's one thing that I have noticed is uh, when I see future play, especially on this map, he does avoid taking that cannon before that Nexus. Uh, and it, it always seems to work out in his favor. Um, I, I guess when I play against Zerg, I panic and I try to get down the, the cannon as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But really, this Nexus being down that much quicker is just going to allow him to have that much more economy faster, right. which yeah. is really what this game is rooted at. If you don't have a good economy, you are totally up the creek without a paddle. Right. Now, I mean, he did get a little greedy taking his Nexus before the cannon, but that's not that greedy here when it comes down to it. He did get his Forge out in great time. Um, his wall off here is going extremely well, and he had a good scout out on his opponent. You can see him also blocking his opponent's expansion here. This is a great thing to do versus your Zerg opponents uh, when you're taking a Forge Fast Expand. We should see him cancel. Oh, he didn't get the cancel there. And yeah, oops. Future, oops. what the heck, buddy? That's 100 minerals down the drain right there. Yeah, well, he's sort of, you know, nice early Nexus. Mm, may not, like, uh, it's a pylon. It's going to have a little bit of effect, but not a huge. Yeah. So he should be just fine. Should be just fine. You're probably right there. But always a nice thing to do. If you can get the cancel out on that, that is definitely helpful. helpful. That saves you 75 minerals. So not bad, but uh, Hatchery has gone down for Reputed in okay time. Now, he is delayed here quite a bit. But a lot of Lings out on the field. Now, this is kind of interesting here from Reputed. I mean, he's really committing to a lot of Lings early on. I half expect to see a Baneling Nest go down because of this. But to, that, look at how many Lings yeah. he's got. That's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of Lings. Um, I, I half expect that he is going to put down a Baneling Nest very shortly. Cause, or he could just run all of them into two cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Which is going to be less than effective. He did back out there. 
three cannons now for future and this is this is a wonderful wall off here for future now the, oh, the, yeah. the problem for him is that he's committed a lot of resources to photon cannons so he is going to need to be careful moving forward to get his tech up and running the way that he needs to notice he has not started warp gate technology yet but he is chrono boosting out some sentries the sentry is going to be great at defending this uh defending this wall off and i'm, I'm still looking for a uh, bailing nest to be honest from uh, from reputed 31 Zerglings on the field. Like, really, a Baneling Nest would be so effective right now. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And he could bust through this wall with absolutely no trouble. These uh, Photon Cannons would fall fairly quickly to that amount of Zerg or Zerglings. But look at this. We've got Stargate going down for future. He's feeling okay about this wall off. I think he feels that he's going to be able to hold it down. He does have four Cannons here. I don't like the... I don't necessarily like the positioning of everything that he's got. Uh, but it's not bad, and he does have a sentry out, and a couple force fields will help keep this wall alive that much longer, but still no Baneling Nest. I'm trying to figure out what he's going to do with these Lings. This is too many Lings here to, to just kind of have a roam around the map and lose one or two at a time, don't you think? Well, yeah, well, Reputed is getting his, his other extractors, so it's going to be kind of interesting. I'm half wondering if he's just going to tech straight to Mutas, but he hasn't Maybe. even started a lair yet. Which, yeah. you know, you, you kind of need a layer from Mutus. <laughs> Putting down a Baneling Nest would probably solve most of his problems right now of having lings that basically can't get through a wall because there's cannons. Right. Because Banelings plus cannons equals dust. Right. <laughs> exactly. I think well said. Now, our starport is complete. We do have a Void Ray on the way. Um, he's going to be chrono boosting that out. Just the one Stargate, so he's not going to like super commit to this, I guess. But a robotics facility going down behind this, so he's going to tech switch off of his air after he goes for some harassment with these units, is my guess. Which I think is a smart play. He's really going to keep Reputed guessing here, hoping that Reputed is going to go for um, Hydralisks. Which is, this is kind of cool. If he can force him into Hydralisks, Colossus play is going to be absolutely ridiculously effective. And that's, a, I think, is what he's trying to go for here. You can see Reputed going to secure a third base. This is in great time, so Reputed definitely not too far behind. But check that units tab, man. He said 38 drones to Future's 50 probes right now. So That's insane. Yeah. Normally, normally a Zerg player should have a ton of drones, like ridiculous amounts. So we know who has not been missing their their E button the entire time. But Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Future is really on top of his economy. He's going to do a lot of damage. He's already taken out an Overlord with this Void Ray Phoenix pair and is now battling out at the, uh, you know, at the oh. uh, mineral line. And here come the Lings. Guess what? The Lings are not going to be super helpful here. Uh, this is interesting. I'm seeing a burrow and an infestation pit along with Zerg melee attacks and uh, Zerg ground carapace. So we're going to... See Ling Infester, perhaps. This is a nice play. I think that's his. This is a better. This is a better option for Reputed than going for, um, you know, the uh, Hydralisks. We've got a couple Spore Crawlers going down. Looks like uh, one of them's not going to complete here. The Void Ray is charged up. Is going to absolutely obliterate that. And I mean, Reputed's taking some serious losses here. This is not boding well for him at this point. No. But having three Phoenixes oh, and wow. whoa. Oh, really? wow. Yep. I mean, the Colossus, Colossus were going to be on the way there in just a moment. I, I don't think he had got a scout out on that, quite frankly, but uh, I mean, he was in severe shape at that point. I think he kind of knew that uh, he'd made some made some early mistakes that cost him the game. I, I, I think that he, it's a little preemptive, but I, I, honestly, I don't know how he could have won that. What do you think? Well, the investors were about to pop, and he could have easily dealt with the the, the phoenixes with some fungals, right? But still, in the long run, yeah, he, yeah, Colossus coming out, Zerglings plus Colossus, no good. Right. So I, I think he was. It might have been a bit of a premature GG, but I don't think Reputed could have come back anyways. Yeah. Tough game and nicely done from Future. I love his play style. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't alt tab always alt Starcraft. We'll see you guys in our next game.